Hello and welcome gorgeous Sagittarius. I hope you're all doing well. Let's take a look at your cards. Be sure to connect in with your heart and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't feel right for you. So let's take a look at your first card here. Okay, so I can see that there's there's a situation you're overcoming at the moment and you are moving toward what is right for you. Although at the moment it feels very emotional, maybe a bit chaotic, a bit a bit um a bit strange emotionally in some way. Turn on your heart light. Well, you are most definitely feeling your heart, you are most definitely feeling your emotions and but also beyond the emotions what is right for you in your heart in your center reflect on a time when you experienced love so there might be reminiscing on the past there might be a connection to the past someone or a situation that you're thinking on or they may be back in your life at the moment and this is why you're having stirred up emotions Positive or negative, you know what, this is about for you. But you're processing and you're moving forward and, you know, you're clearing your mind and your emotions and you're soaring above a difficulty, that's for sure. With the beautiful eagle up here, can you see that? A beautiful eagle. Uh, this is a symbol of overcoming your trials. So that's most definitely the energy that will... Um, that will be shown to you. Appreciate this moment. So this is a card of and a message of being in the present moment. This is where your power lies. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love, to find joy, to find happiness and success for yourself. So it's about being in the present moment. Mindfulness might help with this, but definitely, you know, even though we've got some energy of the past here with this first card, try not to be too connected with the past or the future for that matter, thinking on the future. Try and be very present. Embrace your emotions. Well, I most definitely see that you're doing that here with this image, with this card. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. And there is a card of romance here for you. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So there's something going on in your romantic life at the moment. Something very significant or there's going to be a shift or a change. If you are looking for love, there's some nice energy around that as well. Okay, let's see what this deck reveals. So we have the polar bear, which is the mystic. Know that challenges make you stronger. They these these times that you're in at the moment, the challenges, the difficulties, know that you are strong enough, you will overcome. You are going to have a breakthrough. Get ready to receive. Get ready to receive the abundance and the beauty in your life and the joy and happiness that you deserve. And these challenges are making you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream and renew your strength. Embrace your abilities, your psychic abilities or your, your and trust your heart. You know, that's what I'm really feeling here. You carry the shaman within. So this is all speaking of going within, listening to your heart, understanding, understanding your emotions, understanding yourself, understanding the situation on, on a deeper level. So the unicorn is a symbol for your guardian angel, infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon darkness and go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. 
expand, expand your horizons, think outside the box, uplift your thoughts. Magic surrounds you, your guardian angel is right by your side. There is going to be a massive change in a situation soon. And with this guardian angel present here, this is going to be only for your best interest. This is God's plan. This is part of your destiny. Greater possibilities, new opportunities, doors opening for you, magic surrounding you. Things will fall into place. You will see. Patience. And now I feel that you've had to do this in abundance. And maybe even for a little bit longer. Create a place in nature's stillness to be renewed. Take time alone to find balance and step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. And we have the deer and with this deck, it symbolizes love. So be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love and see the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. Acknowledge your self-worth and uh, maybe even reflect and see whether a situation or relationship that you are involved in is supporting your confidence, your self-worth, your positivity. If it is, then that's fantastic. If it is not, though, and you have that realization, then a change may be needed. Express your creativity. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. So there is something here, something you're wanting to do, something you're wanting to pursue, look into or learn. And there's a green light for that at the moment. There might also be a need to creatively think or you might be inspired by what someone says or by what you read. So stay open to inspiration and creativity. Now we have you writing here, so it might be part of the creativity aspect of things, but definitely count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels for the blessings in my life. A gratitude journal may help. The divine uh, physician. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. This is a card and message of healing for you, if you, whatever healing you're in need of. It's there you're going to see a positive change. Inner power, divine fa father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. So this is about having faith. This is about understanding that some things are outside of your control and releasing that, just letting it go so you can be more in the flow of things. Also, the father energy is here. So there might be important conversations, interactions with your father or someone who holds this energy for you. Um, so let's see what uh, what this deck reveals. The fire prince, optimism and aggression. So be aware that there may be some aggression or some harshness that you feel toward a situation or maybe it is coming towards you. But if it does, know that there is a positive side of things. So look for the silver lining. The river queen flow, letting go and natural movement. So we have this um, message again that I was feeling about going with the flow and um, allowing things to flow naturally, maybe releasing something that you've been holding on to. But you will more generally speaking, you're going to find that things flow more easily at this time for you. The altar priestess, preparation, prayer, sacred ritual. So a prayer go is going to be answered. That's what the energy is of this card, especially with the unicorn, which is your guardian angels and the angels working for you and with you. The ringmaster of scrutiny, discernment, clear vision and details. Definitely 
use your discernment with things because there may be someone who is angry, aggression, or um, there is tension, discord, not seeing eye to eye with someone. Definitely use your discernment and maintain a clear head and a clear vision. Maybe look at the details of things as well. Maybe scrutinize a little bit. Uh, so let's see what this deck reveals. Okay, so we have the Hermit, which is Virgo. You may have a Virgo in your life of significance. And the Hermit is about is about reflection, about introspection, but also about following your own path. The Four of Wands, the energy of freedom, moving more into freedom and satisfaction, joy and happiness. And deciding how that is going to enter your life and making conscious choices toward that. Choices, exactly. What is going to bring freedom? What is going to bring reflection, peace of mind? Whatever it is that you need in your life, a choice is going to be made. The Eight of Cups, departure. This can mean travel is on the horizon for you or it might mean a relationship is finalizing or there's a departure in some way happening in your life. The Eight of Wands, journeys, departure, journeys, definitely some kind of travel or it might mean that, you know, being below choices, that a choice is going to lead you down a positive path, a new journey, a new pathway for you. It might be to do with relationship, a partnership or a commitment, a union, something that is mm, connected to you emotionally. So I hope you've enjoyed the read and it's been revealing for you. Take care, Sagittarius, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.